Now, also, uh, I was uh, busy last night and this morning, uh, really some, uh, doing some blogging. Um, I had a need to copy everything from one boot image over to another boot image. And long story short, um, in Config Manager, if, if you have a boot image like I have here, Uh, this is my uh, old boot image, uh, and you have some drivers. If you only have like four of them, it, it, it's not too complicated to take a new boot image that you create and uh, make sure you have the same drivers there, because you can just have them side by side and you can add and compare. But if you have like 30, uh, which I have some across some organizations having, uh, it is more challenging. So I wrote a little PowerShell script that I have here, uh, where you simply specify your source boot image, you specify your destination boot image. Uh, I have a bit of a logging function uh, where I use some stuff here. But long story short, uh, I'm defining those variables, connecting to the uh, PowerShell drive for Config Manager, they seek validations, making sure that the boot images I specified actually exist. Uh, found that helpful. Uh, but then here I'm connecting to that object. And out of that object, I get a bunch of uh, drivers out of that mix. Um, and basically, then I'm looping through uh, each driver from the source. Uh, I'm logging some details in the log file here but then I'm adding them to the destination. So if I run through this script, uh, it's simply going to head and, and add those drivers in. And it doesn't hurt if you run it multiple times. It's not going to add them like four times. It's just going to realize they were already there and, and life is good. But long story short, this script will duplicate drivers from one boot image over to another. And I tested this. It also works if you have boot images with uh, different versions uh, on them. Because you probably know that if you go to a boot image that is matching your ADK installation folder or in installation on the server, on the provider, um, uh, you can see the drivers. But if you pick a boot image that doesn't match what you have, you, you cannot see the drivers making it even harder to guess what you've added to them. Uh, but the PowerShell script found them. So it seems to happily ignore what the console prevents you from doing. So it worked just fine there. Uh, so that was my uh, morning there.